Yes, Miron. How this rule, love their friend as thyself, uh, what what you hate to be others don't do to what you hate to, to be done to yourself don't do to others, how does it oblige every friend in the ten practically? Practically, we need to nevertheless talk more and more, even though we hate talking about this, to talk and talk and talk about this, as this is a must and this is the goal and it's not dependent on us and it doesn't depend on us to get to it, but it's worthwhile for us to do this in the form of Achishena, but not in the in the in Beito in, in due time. So in the dynamic in the ten there are frictions and hatred that appears. Excellent. Excellent. First of all, dependent on there's no else besides him, so that upon that we will observe love. What does it mean to carry out love and what does it mean to do actions you don't like in the tent? Grab the friend like that by, by his throat, like this, choke him and say, I love you. But what will I tell you? Try to come to that picture of what it means, love. A picture of love where you enter his body and carry out actions there that are seemingly like you live in their, his place. Because in the soul, it's like that. That's how it is in the soul. We are all one soul. We can't imagine this, but we are one soul. There are no bodies. There's desire, and you inside this desire are incorporated. That's called love. These are kind of like our words that confuse us. We need to love one another. We don't need to love. We need to incorporate in one desire and to live one life until there will be no difference between us of you it being yours or mine. I understand the words you're saying. That's the essence of the question. What is it? It's physical actions? What? No. Desirable. In one desire. What does it mean to live a single life in the tent? To live his desire for what? For the Creator, for spirituality. It's not... Uh... Yes, a desire for the Creator. Many times the frictions of hatred and, and all that is out of work. Well, that's so that you will uplift above that to the Creator. It just seems to you like there's something else. All the rest is the imaginary world. And there is a point, world. a middle point of the ten. And above it, there is the Creator. Nothing except for that. All the rest is completely imaginary. Can you explain that? What is there to explain? All the rest is only in order to confuse you so that you will come to the true connection in the central point and understand that from there you have connection with the Creator until the Creator too will be in that central point. That's called the unification of the Creator and the Divine